Hello and welcome to the Science Fury. In this video I want to show how I made this variable capacitor and explain how I calculated the capacitance. The capacitor has a capacity of approximately 320 picofarads and I initially wanted something around 600 or 700 picofarads so I left a bit of space here. I had to make the spacing of the plates bigger and this influences the capacitance so I had to make it a bit bigger and that reduces the capacitance and I have to cut more plates in the future. Alright so to calculate the amount of plates I need or the amount of aluminum I have to cut I used the formula for a plate capacitor and this is the capacitance, this is the electric field constant and this is just a constant, this is 8.854 times 10 to the power of minus 12 and this is just a constant and yeah then after that times the dielectric constant and this is just a material based number for the material you have in between the plates. For us this is just air so uh, later I will explain does it, that, is, that it doesn't matter for air. Then we have the surface area and down here everything is divided by the distance between the plates. Alright, but we don't want the capacitance, we want a surface area for a given capacitance to find out how many plates we have to cut. And for that I rearranged the formula. So we have the surface area here, then the capacitance here, the thickness of the plates, and the dielectric constant, and next to that the dielectric number for the stuff we have in between. But for that we have to cross this way because we have air in the capacitor and air is just one and something times one stays one so we can leave that out. Alright that leaves us with the rest of the formula and I just put in the numbers. This is the value I, I set 320 picofarads. Pico is uh, 10 to the power of minus 12. So I put this in for the capacitance then the thickness between the plates. This is for me it's about around 2 millimeters. You have to put it, the value in in meters so we have 0 0.00225 it's, it's exactly 0.00225 meters but it's approximately 2 millimeters. Then all of that is divided by the electric field constant and like, like I said this is just 8 point eight five four times to the power of times ten to the power of minus twelve and this gives us zero point zero eight one three meters squared and this is eight hundred thirteen centimeters squared. Okay if we have two plates that are eight hundred thirteen centimeters squared then we would be ready but then the capacitor would be pretty huge and to make it smaller I use smaller plates and I put them in parallel and the size of the plates is like this one centimeter here because I have to put the rod in here to hold the plates and the rest of the surface area is 6 by 6 centimeters and this is 36 centimeters squared and to find out how many plates I need I divide 813 centimeters squared by the 36 centimeters squared and this gives me 22.5 and that's around 22 we have don't have we only have whole numbers but this is the um, area between the plates but we have to get one more plate so it's 23 plates because we calculate the number of 
spaces between the plates and if we have like for example one two three spaces between the plates we need one two three four plates so we always need one plate more than the number up here and that's how we know how many plates we need one small note to the distance between the plates I have like on one rod uh, two plates separated by two nuts and this is approximately six millimeters then the opposite plate is in there and the thickness of the plate is 1.5 millimeters and to get the number we have here the uh, spacing between the plates we have to subtract this the the 1.5 millimeters and then we have these two gaps the distance of them and then we have to divide this by two and then we have just the distance from one gap and this is this number here the 0.00225 meters you can't really have the distance much smaller I initially wanted to have it like something around one millimeter or even smaller but the problem is that the plates are slightly uneven and then they touch each other so two millimeters is fine um, under two millimeters it's a bit problematic but the problem is if you reduce or if you increase the distance between the plates so this this space here if you increase that uh, you have the capacitance significantly reduced so yeah you have to keep it as, as small as possible otherwise you have to put more and more plates in there and that's the problem I had that's why I had only 320 picofarads so I started by cutting an aluminum sheet into small plates and then I drilled holes to them each on one side and after that I mounted them on a threaded rod you can see here and separated the plates by nuts two nuts that are M4 and mounted this on this stand on this wooden stand uh, so I can move this and yeah that's my variable capacitor I will probably add some plates in the future because the capacitance is still a bit low alright this was just a quick video on this project I made and if there are any questions left if someone wants to build this then leave a comment and I will happily answer any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.